Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are here to talk about October goals. As you guys know, I love to share with you the little bitty goals that I set for myself every month just to basically keep myself accountable. I think it's really important that if I declare my goals to people and I either have to tell them that I yes, I succeeded or no, I failed, for whatever reason, that keeps me more accountable. So every month I go over the past month's goals and whether or not I succeeded and then I will tell you about my goals for the new month. So it is October, it is fall, it's the last quarter of the year, big things are happening. Let's jump right in with a look back at my September goals. If my memory serves me correctly, I only had four goals and the first one was the goal of doing the blogging everyday challenge, I believe, and I failed miserably at that, miserably. But I figured out why, which is the interesting thing. So. I'm going to be talking about my um, goals and gratitude, which I keep mentioning to you guys. I swear I'm making a video on it. It's coming out this month. But this goals and gratitudes practice that I learned from Rachel Hollis, surprise, surprise, I learned everything from her. And that practice has you writing down 10 goals every single day. And they're typically the same goals until you reach one and then you can change it or based on what your priorities are, whatever. We'll get into that in the other video. But what I realized is the goals that involved my brand, my blog and my YouTube channel and everything, of the goals that I wrote down, I wrote down a specific income, I wrote down something for Instagram, a num like a number of followers, and I wrote down a number of subscribers for YouTube. In the goals that I regularly write down every single day, None of them have anything to do with the blog. So why do you suppose I'm having such a hard time with the blog? Because it's clearly, obviously, not as big of a priority to me right now as growing my YouTube channel is, which is fine. This is not, this is not a reason that I should be upset about anything. This is just reality. And I was telling my husband this, and he even said, well, I did tell you to focus on something. You just clearly chose to focus on YouTube for a while. I'm like, you know what? You're right. I did. So. I'm not mad about it. Am I mad that I didn't complete the challenge that I set out to do? A little bit, but I realized why blogging has been so hard. So I decided that it's okay. And I can't remember the exact number of blog posts I put up. I think it was something like 12, which is still a significant number of blog posts for one month, given my past history, but I did not, in fact, complete the 30 day blogging challenge. Goal number two was to upload three videos per week. And while I did upload a decent amount of videos, I did not end up averaging three videos per week. I uploaded nine total, which is just over two a week, which is still really, really good. Not quite where I want to be, but still getting better. So this is all about progress, not perfection. Goal number three was to start a back to school for weight loss series. And as you guys might know, that I succeeded in. Not only did I start it, I completed it. All four videos that I wanted to create were filmed, edited, and uploaded in the month of September. Good job to me. I actually achieved one of the goals I set out to do this month. I will have the videos listed for you down below with the link. So if you want to check them out, you can. And then the fourth goal that I set for the month was to attend all four weeks of the marriage class at my church. And as of October 1st, which was Monday, that was the fourth and final class. And I did in fact attend all four weeks and it was wonderful. It was a great little class. The pastor and his wife got up there and were talking through things about marriage. It's not like how to be, like it's not for marriages that are in trouble. People who have marriages that are in trouble could attend the class, but people who are in perfectly happy and healthy marriages like mine also attended that class because it could never hurt to learn a little bit more about marriage. So I did in fact do that. And despite my husband's work schedule and travel schedule, he was home on Monday and got to come to one of the classes with me, which is great because it was kind of nice to, you know, spend the marriage class with the person I'm married to. All right, so those were my goals for the month of September. Let's look ahead to October. October is a big, big month. And primarily that's because of goal number one, which is to participate in and complete, which we can't complete it in October, but the last 90 days challenge. And I did an entire video on this challenge. I will link it up there for you. Go check it out. It gives you in-depth information as to what the last 90 days challenge is and the kind of things that it involves for us. But in a nutshell, it is a, um, a technique, a challenge, 
it is a challenge that allows us to really embrace the last 90 days of the year and treat them as if it was the first 30 days of the year. And you know what I mean. When you wake up on January 1st, you're fired up, you're ready to go get your goals, do the things, eat the right things, exercise, do whatever goals you set for yourself for the new year, you're ready to go for it. But by October, not so much. So we are treating the last 90 days of the year as if they are the first 30 days of the year. And that involves doing several things daily called the five to thrive. And if you watch that video, you will see everything, including a breakdown of the five to thrive and how I am changing them around to work for me. I have an entire Facebook group up and running with over 150 people in it, and they are so supportive and so wonderful. Information for that is also over on that video. So goal number one, which is going to be an ongoing goal for the rest of the year, is the last 90 days challenge and everything that entails for me, which so far, it's day three when I'm filming this, it's been incredible. I've been up at six o'clock every morning, drinking all my water, getting the gym in, no excuses, like, it's it's pretty good. Goal number two is to upload 10 videos to my YouTube channel. 10 videos. I can do that. I can do that. Hold me accountable, guys. You're my YouTube channel. Hold me accountable. Goal number three is to publish eight blog posts. Eight. That is two per week. Again, I can do it, especially with this last 90 days thing and like getting up and jumping in and going for the goals. This all ties into the last 90 days thing. So eight blog posts, 10 YouTube videos, lots of content coming your way, I promise you that. Goal number four is to decorate for fall. Fall is one of my favorite seasons, and while decorating for Christmas is my favorite, fall is not far behind, and so I just have to get my husband to go get the stuff up from our little storage unit downstairs, but I'm so psyched to get this place decorated for fall. I don't have a lot of fall decorations, but I have some cute ones, and just the act of like this glittery pumpkin I have being out on the table is just so, oh, it's so warming, and I just love it. So I'm really looking forward to decorating, but my goal is to get it done this month and not push it off until, you know, mid-November and then it's time to put up the Christmas decorations. Goal number five is to wake up every day at 6.30 and so far, so good. So far, so good. Of course, we're only on day three, but I have been waking up at 6.30 pretty regularly for the last couple of weeks and it, I'm just, the more I do it, the easier it is. My body has actually the last two days been waking up a little bit before my alarm at like 6.15, 6.20, all on its own regardless of what time I've gone to bed. Last night we went to bed at midnight, which I was furious about, but I'm like, you know what? It is what it is, and then I slept for crap. So my Fitbit says, you got five hours of sleep last night. And you know what? I dragged my sorry butt out of bed at 6.30 this morning, and it took me a while to get started, but I did it anyway, and it feels really good. So every day this month, every day, 6.30 a.m. wake up. Goal number six is to finish two books. One of those I want to be Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets because I'm in the middle of it now. I'm slowly, so slowly, but surely working my way back through the Harry Potter series because I loved those books when they were coming out and I want to relive that magic, if you will. And I've seen the movies a million times, but I've only read a, every book once. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and reread this entire series and it's just, it's so good. It's so magical and wonderful. And I have a couple other books in the pipeline. I can't decide what my second book is going to be, but my goal is to read two books with that extra hour that I have in the morning waking up early. And those are my goals for the month of October. If they seemed a little bit hurried and discombobulated, I'm sorry. I'm just... There's a mental haze happening today and I still, I was like, I swear I have to sit down, I have to film this video. I don't know if any of the words made sense, but those are my goals. If you want, there is going to be a blog post of the goals written out probably in a little bit more detail for you down below. And like I said, most of the goals, like the big fitness and health and whatnot related goals are all encompassed underneath the last 90 days thing, which you will see in that other video. The link is down below. So that's it for my October goals. Let me know in the comments below what one of your goals is for the month of October. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you would be so kind, if you're not already subscribed, as to hit that subscribe button right there so you get notified every Every time I upload something new, it would mean the world to me to have you as a part of the Diva and the Divine community. Also, just a friendly reminder that I do have a Facebook group happening, speaking of the Diva and the Divine community. 
The link to that will be down below as well. I just have a couple of administrative questions just to weed out the random people that might be trying to join random groups to post spam. So I ask you how you found the group. You can say YouTube. How, or what you want to gain from the group, whatever, and what my dog's name is. My dog's name is Gracie. I've been getting some pretty interesting answers. I actually think I've been having people give me the names of their dogs. I'm basically just trying to make sure you guys are real people that have a genuine interest in joining the group. So the link to that is down below. If you are interested in joining a very encouraging and motivating and supportive community, um, of my followers. They're, they've been so wonderful. These last three days, everyone's posting, talking about their accomplishments for the last 90 days challenge. It's been really, really cool. So the link to that's down below if you're interested in joining that as well. And that is everything for this video. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch. Take care and I will see you in my next video. Bye.